live from our studios in San Antonio. It's taped with Karen, Trish, and today, Nancy. Good morning, everybody. Good Happy morning. Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday. It's a perfect you? day for me. Who are you? You don't look like Karen. I'm the queen of Fat Tuesday. <laughs> Because I'm losing the weight loss contest, so Fat Tuesday is a day I celebrate. Well, you look quite festive. Well, thank you very much. I have on my, my appropriate uh, beating. No flashing going on today. Keep your clothes on. Be thankful. Be Whoa. thankful. Yeah. Be thankful for that. Just saying. Just I, can't, saying. I can't look through this anymore. Yeah, can't it's, do kind it. of, it's kind of hard to take, <laughs> I'll be honest. I agree. It's just, hello, hello. <laughs> So it's Fat Tuesday. It's Fat Tuesday. So Lent everybody needs to get all their calories loaded up today. Yep. You know, because tomorrow is a day of fasting. I see. Because tomorrow, the lentil season begins. <laughs> Eat your legumes. The lentil I, season. I Not the Lenten season. I suspect downtown's going to be quite. Uh, oh, it should be fun on the right tonight. place yes, to be yes. tonight. So I I'm won't sorry. be. There. I was I was being facetious. We meant the Lenten season. I just happened to hear somebody actually seriously refer to it as the lentil season once, and I had a hard time um, getting through that conversation. Keeping a straight but, face. Yes, yes, that's I did. true. That's true. So, well, what's going on? Not much. Went to the rodeo this weekend. It was super fun. Uh, got rained on a little bit, yeah. but not really. It was nice and cool. We we uh, saw a good show and. Uh, danced and danced. Was just, yeah. you know, I went to the rodeo too. It was a great time. Saw that uh, Vegas act, the uh, ventriloquist guy. I, he was amazing. Yeah. Truly amazing. It was just uncanny. I thought he was really good too. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? I don't know. Who's talking? Oh, I don't know. I should be in <laughs> You'd be so good at that. I'd be so good. I'd be so good. So what's going on this week in the winery? We're, we don't have time to do the prize Yes, today, I want to so. apologize. We had, we had tried to get to the, the, the wheel this week, but we had some things going on in the store this morning. We just couldn't couldn't get it going. So Computer issues. Next week, next week, we hope to get going on that. Uh, this week's walk by special is the Tanat Merlot. The Tanat Merlot. Yeah, a That's little a of that Tanat from uh, Uruguay, mixed, uh, mixed, blended, blended with a, a softening of Merlot. So it's it's sort of a south of the equator uh, Bordeaux, is, if you will, and uh, it's uh, certainly worth a try. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's our special this week at four dollars a glass. Yeah, so can't beat that price. Don't don't miss out on that. And um, we have a guest today. We do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not Roseanne, Roseanne and Dana. Okay. Well, I, who although it might be a distant cousin. I think it might be, okay. might be a distant cousin. Uh, it's gonna. He's our Linton guest. He's our Fat Tuesday guest, our and his name guest. is. I'd like you to be give a big round of applause for uh, Chuck, Chuck Luther. Luther. Come on in, Chuck. Join us. Join us. All right, All right Chuck. Chuck. Hey, good to see you, Chuck. How's Welcome, it going, Chuck? Welcome. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Okay. okay. I like that hair so, that you got going. So, so what's going on for the Linton season? Well, um. You know, Fat Tuesday, Ash Wednesday, lentil season, all that stuff. It's a, it's a time where there's a lot of self-denial. Uh, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. And, you know, I belong to a church that uh, has, has kind of developed that uh, we, we try to soften that a little bit. Okay. Interesting. So you don't give up something for Lent. You don't well, deprive yourself of we, anything. We want to we want to do it in moderation. I mean, this goes back to the day when, um, you know, when the, people would approach Lent and they would give up food and drink and that sort of thing. And then invariably you get to the end of Lent and, and then boom, you may have lost five, 10 pounds. Then you just start binging and eating. and <coughs> Or drinking. Or drinking. Uh, drinking and, and, you know, you, <laughs> fall out of your car or you gain 20 pounds back so it's like if you approach it a little bit more moderately the the history of it really goes back for for my church uh, goes back to uh, when that was happening and besides just food and drink a lot of times um, uh, the wives would come to the husbands and say that you know they'd plan on giving up something else and, and um, I wonder Which, what that would be. Really? How would those wives be looking to get if you, if you look at the statistics, know. you'll you'll notice that there's just a lot of children born in December and January. <laughs> Do the math. What church is this? Um, well, the, the, this church... What's the name of your church? Uh, yeah. It, the, the church really was founded, you remember, when my long, long-distant cousin, Martin, started to uh, put that post-it note up on the church. Post-it, mm -hmm. yeah, he uh -huh. did, he did. And... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. and 
we we belong to the kind of it's part of the same family, but it was Charles Luther Martin's cousin who decided to start up a church at the same time, and so you know the name Lutherans was already taken. Yeah, so, ah, okay. So, so Charles came up with were the Chuckerans. The, the Chuckerans. Yeah. The Chuckerans. Okay. All right. And so our, our our celebration goes back to this time with the wives, and and uh, the deal was is. Um, we call this time period Yomi, okay? And it goes back to Yomi. In, Yomi. Um, How do you spell that? Oh, Y O M E. So Yomi. In, Yomi. In, in Chukarism, right. or Chukarinism, is that right? Chukarinism. 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 Okay. Lent is called Yomi. Yomi, you're right. Because okay. back okay. to when the wives would come to their husband and tell them what they were giving up, and then the husband would look at them and say, okay, but Yomi. <laughs> well, so, and there you have it. <laughs> and that's why we have all those babies in December. That's right. That's right. Yomi. Yomi. I like it. I like it. Well, Chuck, thank you. Ah, no thank problem. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. And tell your wife good luck for during okay. the uh, Yomi yeah. season. Yeah, so um, I'll tell her. Uh, uh, the lentil <laughs> season, the Yomi season. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Chuck. Thank Thanks for joining us. Have a good day. Well, I learned something today. I did not know there was... I suspect my husband uh, learned something today. Chuckerism. He Chuck. watches this video on Tuesdays. <laughs> Yomi. <laughs> Yomi. My husband says that all the time. <laughs> anyway, poor guy. I'm like, I got him. I'm tired now. Yomi. 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 <laughs> I know, but I'm tired. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right. Well, um... Make sure you get by the one read this week. Uh, tonight would be a great night, of course, because you got to get that last drop in. And for those of you who are thinking of giving up wine for Lent, let me just caution you, all right, that if you totally give up wine for Lent, there's going to be a backlash, you know, after Easter. In fact, on Easter Sunday, you'll be the drunk that ends up on YouTube, okay? So don't give up wine for Lent. You want to take, have a steady flow in your veins so you don't embarrass yourself or your family, okay? We know this because it's happened in our family, and we've seen the results, okay? Are you pointing fingers at me? I did not lift a single finger. All right, everybody, have a great week, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.